There are several slanderous disinformation videos online spreading lies about me and claiming to have exposed me. I have addressed and debunked these allegations several times in the past, but over the years these claims keep resurfacing and bewildering my newer supporters, so I'm making this video to address all of the accusations made about me in one place. 1. You are a CIA agent. We have proof you lived in Washington, D.C. There is a website called Intellius that claims someone named Eric Dubé lived in Washington, D.C., and this is being touted by many as proof positive that I am a CIA agent. Firstly, the two have no correlation whatsoever, as there are hundreds of thousands of non-CIA agents living in Washington, D.C. at any given time. Secondly, there is more than one Eric Dubé just from Maine, USA alone. One of them is an avid golf player and has many Google hits about his tournaments. Thirdly, I have never lived in Washington, D.C., regardless of what some random website claims. I have no idea why there is a website listing this, but regardless, I have never worked for the CIA, nor have I ever lived in Washington, D.C. In fact, I have only visited there twice in my life for a week each time to see the museums, once with my elementary school, and once with my family. These websites also list no address or time frame when I supposedly lived there, and considering I have only ever lived with my parents and in the University of Maine dormitory before moving abroad after graduation at age 21. Apparently, they are claiming all this CIA training and DC living happened when I was a college student or younger. 2. Your wife or fiancé's father is a five-star general in the dictatorial Thai military. There are several pictures of myself and a woman I was dating, circulating with claims that she is my wife or fiancé, and that since her parents work for the Thai military, that is proof positive that I am an NWO shill. Firstly, I do not even have a wife or fiancé, and the woman in these pictures was merely someone I dated for two months over five years ago. Her father was not a general, either. Both her parents did work for the Thai army, but that has no bearing on me or my integrity, and I even expressed to them and their daughter my discontent for governments and militaries. These videos and claims of exposing me, based on this woman's family, all came about during those two months over five years ago when she tagged these pictures of us on Facebook, and a group of trolls and shills looking for anything they could find to smear my name pounced on these photos, creating this whole web of conspiracy claiming my supposed father-in-law is a general in the dictatorial Thai military. In reality, I have not even spoken with this woman or her family in over five years, and the ridiculous harassment they received for simply tagging me in a few pictures was actually part of the reason that we ended the relationship. 3. You were a cross-dresser who performed an Illuminati shame ritual wearing a dress. Firstly, I am not a cross-dresser, I do not own or wear women's clothing, and I am not wearing a dress. These pictures trolls are constantly posting show me with a pillowcase wrapped around my torso, and they are all from a comedic parody video where I am impersonating several characters within the Flat Earth community, both male and female. Those trying to discredit me post these images out of context and make claims that I am part of the Thai transgender community or that I was forced to wear a dress in part of some Illuminati shame ritual. In truth, I am a heterosexual man, comfortable enough with himself that I chose to make the video myself, hoping it would be a humorous way to expose various disinformation agents in the Flat Earth community. 4. You were awarded a $100,000 vaccine settlement, which was actually your CIA payout for rolling out the Flat Earth Movement. People like Jamie Lee, A Plain Truth, Matt Boylan, and Paul Michael Bales have all made the claim that they have proof I was awarded $100,000 in a vaccine injury settlement, and that this money was my reward for being an undercover CIA agent. They have documentation they found online somewhere showing someone named Eric Dubé from Maine, USA, who was injured and contracted Guillain-Barre syndrome after taking a vaccine, and was awarded $100,000. In reality, this document is 100% real, 
and someone named Eric Dubé from Maine really was injured and compensated in a vaccine settlement. As I mentioned previously, however, there is more than one Eric Dubé from Maine, and since it doesn't fit the narrative they wanted to create for me, their investigative journalism ended there. When I personally investigated further, it turns out the settlement was awarded not to me, Eric M. Dubé, but to Eric K. Dubé, a man ten years older than me who still lives in Maine and has lived there his entire life. I was even able to find Eric's Facebook page where he mentions his vaccine injury, and as you can see in the following images, his signature on the vaccine settlement looks nothing like mine. 5. You are a Freemason from a Masonic family. Your great-uncle is a 32nd degree Freemason. Firstly, I am not a Freemason, and as should be clear by my body of work over the past 15 years, I am an ardent anti-Mason and want the organization exposed and abolished. Secondly, the only reason anyone knows there is a Freemason in my family is because I have always been open, honest, and transparent and told everyone myself in several videos, articles, and interviews. These sites claiming to expose me always conveniently omit that fact. The only Freemason in my family is my great-uncle James Mays, who married into the Dubé family through my grandmother's sister. We do not get along, and the only words we've spoken together since I've known he was a Mason, and he's known about my books, I made public for everyone to see on Ifers, when he called my book bullshit, then deleted his own comment, and proceeded to block me on Facebook. 6. But you make Masonic signs and symbols in your pictures and videos. There are compilations taking still shots of me from various videos and claiming I must be a Freemason because I am making a devil horns or 666 hand sign. Firstly, I am a yogi, not a Mason, and I have shown how these hand signs actually originated thousands of years ago as yogic mudras, which have only recently been perverted into Masonic gang signs. As a yogi, I do use several of these hand poses, like the Gyani Mudra, in meditation every day. Many of the other supposed signs I am making, however, are ridiculous or taken out of context. For example, they show me flashing the devil horns during my flat earth and other shill potatoes routine, but forget to mention the whole point is that I was parodying Orphan Red, who herself was blatantly flashing the sign during her interview with Mark Sargent. Or they show me in a common yoga asana and then paint a compass and square over my arms and legs, claiming it's a Masonic pose. Again, none of these are actually Masonic in origin, and freeze-framing these clips taken out of context does not make me a Mason. 7. You are Antichrist and a New Age deceiver because you do yoga and made a video saying Jesus never existed. I am indeed a yoga teacher and have made more than one video showing abundant evidence for why the character known as Jesus Christ never existed. I absolutely disagree, however, with people labeling me with the terms Antichrist or New Ager. Simply because I am skeptical of the literal historical existence of someone does not make me antithetical to them. I come from an entire family of devout Christians, have read the Bible cover to cover, was baptized, and attended church since before I could walk. I enjoy and agree with the teachings of Jesus, and they have enriched my life in many ways. In fact, I have read the Bible, the Quran, Tao Te Ching, Lotus Sutras, and Vedas, and enjoyed them all. But none of them made me want to identify with only that one book and call myself a Christian, Muslim, Taoist, Buddhist, or Hindu. They all point to the truth, but none of them have a monopoly on truth. If you wish to believe in literal talking snakes, wooden staffs turning into snakes, water magically turning into wine, bread and fish magically manifesting from the ether, and humans being swallowed and living for days inside whales' bellies only to come out alive and unharmed, you are welcome to do so. But when I show evidence that these things are all actually ancient analogies referring to psychological phenomena found in many cultures and traditions around the world thousands of years older than the Bible, that doesn't make me anti-Christ. It makes me pro-truth. And as for the New Age claim, yoga is one of the most ancient ascetic disciplines in existence, going back many thousands of years before Christianity. 
so it is laughably fallacious when Christians denounce me as a New Ager when my practice is actually far more ancient than theirs. 8. You are actually Andrea Casaraghi, Prince of Monaco, pretending to be Eric Dubé. One of the more humorous claims made about me is that I am not actually myself, but am instead a member of the Monaco royal family, Prince Andrea Casaraghi, undercover, posing as Eric Dubé. I guess this is supposed to discredit me by claiming I'm not who I say I am, and that I'm playing a role as some kind of gatekeeper or controlled opposition. I'll admit I do look somewhat similar to the Prince of Monaco, but the similarities stop there. He was born in Monaco and lived most of his life in France, two countries I have never visited in my life. He is married with three children and is regularly followed by paparazzi in the media around Europe. I am unmarried with no children, never been to Europe, and have lived in Asia for most of my adult life. And though we look similar, we have obvious clear differences in our physical makeups proving we are not the same person. 9. You're a Hollywood actor. You have an IMDb profile. There is an IMDb profile someone has created for Eric Dubé that randomly lists several of my YouTube videos, and people are claiming this means I'm a Hollywood actor. The truth is, however, I've never even visited California, let alone been in a Hollywood production, and just because someone put my YouTube videos into an IMDb database doesn't suddenly make me part of Hollywood. If you actually read the summary, which calls me a 5 foot 0 inch tall delusional con man, it's pretty funny. If you actually read the summary, which calls me a 5 foot 0 inch tall delusional con man, and compares my intelligence to a preschooler, it should be obvious this is a troll set up IMDb page which I've actually tried many times to change or have removed, but IMDB refuses to do so. 10. You're a psychopath and abused your ex-girlfriends. The same group of trolls also found and contacted a bitter ex-girlfriend of mine, then made videos claiming I'm a psychopath and abuser. As I've stated on many occasions now, I broke up with two of my previous Thai girlfriends due to their physically aggressive behavior towards me, and not the other way around. The woman showing a picture of a small bruise on her thigh, claiming it as proof that I beat her, in fact abused me regularly throughout our relationship. She had a poor childhood, resulting in borderline personality disorder, which would often surface in tantrums, where she did everything from slap, punch, kick, scratch, and bite me. Tantrums so violent that I would have to restrain her or leave until she calmed down. The reason we are no longer together is because I finally had enough of this behavior and gave the ultimatum that if she ever got physical with me again, I would break up. And she did. So I broke up with her. 11. You promote Hitler, and it is harming the flat earth truth. I have been writing about the truth of World War II and related subjects for years before writing my flat earth books. So when I first came out saying the earth was flat, People said I was poisoning the World War II truth well with Flat Earth. Once Flat Earth began making a stir, and I uploaded my Adolf Hitler vs. the JWO documentary, however, people then began saying I was poisoning the Flat Earth well with World War II information. To each accusation, my response is the same. I'm not poisoning any wells, as the Flat Earth is absolutely true, and the official establishment version of what happened during World War II is absolutely false. 12. You promote veganism, which is the unhealthy NWO Agenda 21 slave diet. There is a ridiculous new counter-movement of carnist conspiracy theorists claiming that eating a balanced plant-based diet is somehow unhealthy and a New World Order Agenda 21 conspiracy meant to undermine your well-being. Many of the people pushing this idea are also claiming the complete opposite, that eating raw animal corpses is what everyone should actually be doing. To begin with, if any diet could be called the NWO slave diet, it is the current SAD standard American diet full of carcinogenic and artery-clogging animal fats and proteins, a diet which necessitates the enslavement and murder of billions of innocent, defenseless, sentient beings every single year. A vegan diet, on the other hand, eliminates as far as practical and possible 
all cruelty to animals and has been approved by the largest body of medical authorities in the world as being healthy and suitable for people during all stages of life, including children and pregnant mothers. I have personally been vegan for over 14 years now, and in that entire time have not fallen sick once and have energy for days. I will be 40 next year, but people who first meet me often think I'm still in my 20s. Veganism is in fact one of the most anti-establishment movements out there, and the fact that big corporations are now starting to advertise vegan meats, cheeses, and other products is not evidence of some grand NWO Agenda 21 vegan conspiracy, but simply capitalism doing what it has always done and capitalizing on whatever the market demands. Since veganism has seen such a rise in recent years, the corporations are creating new vegan products to keep up with the demand. These fake meats, fake cheeses, etc. are not health foods, however, so I agree with the critics that they should only be eaten sparingly, with fresh fruits, vegetables, legumes, beans, nuts, and seeds making up the majority of your diet. The simple truth is the powers that be are gravely concerned of the flat earth movement I have helped spark and maintain, and they are desperate to defame, denounce, and discredit me in any way possible. Since they have completely failed to debunk my evidence, they are now taking to personal attacks and trying to denounce my character, so people will not see me as trustworthy. To my supporters, if you do see people making these slanderous false accusations about me, please link them to this video so they can hear my side of the story and figure out the truth for themselves.